Closets by Design recognizes remarkable women of the low country. Tonight we are introducing you to a remarkable woman who has spent 50 years serving others, most recently heading one of the largest organizations in the low country, ensuring hundreds of thousands of people don't have to fear on where they will get their next meal. News 2 Sophia Desasor shares her unlikely story fueled by a passion for service. This is a familiar walk for Pat Walker. So these are retail donations. For the last nine years, the aisles of the Lowcountry Food Bank have been her number one priority. Hey, I have to hug him. It's a place where her hard work and passion collide. I've been thinking about you, yes, ma'am. Walker served as a school teacher for 30 years before volunteering for East Cooper Meals on Wheels. And that just changed my world. I don't think I knew that there were so many people in our community, in our affluent community, who were food insecure. What she thought would be some volunteer hours quickly turned into a tremendous leadership role, president and CEO of the organization. I really just kind of jumped in with two feet to try to make a difference and to serve seniors, seniors who had worked all of their lives but for whatever reason um, could not access healthy food. After 10 years, she transitioned to lead the Lowcountry Food Bank. It energized me, it motivated me, and it just planted that in my mind that everybody, everybody in our community has the right to eat healthy food. Her approach was simple, focus on those they serve honoring their dignity by offering healthy choices. So we came up with a distribution model called Fresh for All, which is literally a farmer's market style distribution where people come and they choose what they want, what their families will eat. Who are we to determine what you and your family will eat by giving you a bag of food that we have chosen. You should be able to choose. Under her leadership, the food bank increased the pounds of food distributed by more than 72 percent, serving over 200,000 people across 10 counties each year. But asked Walker her greatest accomplishment, and her answer is clear. The staff that we have built at Low Country Food Bank, um, they're committed, they're dedicated, they're passionate, they want to reduce food insecurity in our community, and they're agile. Longtime friend, philanthropist, and businesswoman Anita Zucker says Walker's empathy sets her apart from other leaders. She is a remarkable woman. The fact that she was able to maintain the level of engagement and involvement and running around that business um, was phenomenal. It takes a lot of strength and a lot of energy to do the work that she did. A remarkable woman giving her life to support the lives of others for more than 50 years. I'm humbled and I'm honored. Walker announced her retirement as president and CEO in February of last year. A month later, the need for food assistance was at an all-time high. She set aside her plans to focus on crisis relief, refusing to walk away from the growing number of people who didn't know where their next meal would come from. She told me the pandemic was by far the greatest challenge she faced as a leader. She officially retires this month. Reporting in studio, Sophia Desasor, Count on Two. Next.